Hello there traders, you are watching financial news from InstaForex TV with me, Marina Generalova. The European manufacturing sector has been experiencing hard times. In November, production declined in Germany and France. A reduction in the manufacturing sectors of the two largest economies of the Eurozone came as a surprise to experts who had expected modest growth. Moreover, Germany reported a sharp slump in November's export. As a result, the country's trade surplus narrowed to 17.9 billion euros. Demand for German products on foreign markets decreased in November, despite the depreciation of the euro. However, today the single European currency has strengthened against the US peer. Ahead of the US employment data, investors prefer to close US dollar positions part-time. Можно предположить, что основная валютная пара евро-доллар сегодня we can assume that the major euro-dollar pair is likely to fall on strong data from the US. It can shed to the level of 1.1750 with a further target at the level of 1.17. At the same time, if the data on non-farm payrolls comes out slightly worse than expected, the consensus forecast is an increase of 245,000, the shared currency may get support. По консенсус прогнозу предполагается рост данного показателя на 245 тысяч, то это может опять же поддержать единую европейскую валюту. Markets have already priced in the high probability of quantitative easing in the eurozone, but economists doubt its effectiveness. However, QE has at least one certain plus: an increase in monetary base will lead to a further weakening of the European currency and a depressed euro in its turn should trigger hike in exports and inflation. It was financial news on InstaForex TV. Bye, have a great day!